My name is Jennifer Doktorski and this is Alma Spencer. Today is September 10th, 2001. We're in Grapevine, Texas at about 3.40 in the afternoon. And Grandma, what's your birthday? March the 4th, 1914. And how old are you? 87. 87. Female. Okay. And we're just going to talk about your childhood to start out with, and then your young adulthood, and then later adulthood. And my first question is, what was the first memory from your childhood? As far back as you can remember. Do you remember any trips that you may have taken when you were younger? Oh, we didn't go much. I mean, we didn't take no long trips. We went to church, to town, and that. But you grew up in Kansas, and what was the home Yeah. Town? We, uh, I lived uh, one mile east and five miles and the fourth north of Lahar, Laharp. Laharp in Kansas. And mm -hmm. when um, when you were a, if you can remember, if you were a kid, did you have any like childhood fears, like anything you were scared of when you were little, anything you can remember? Well, I remember my older sister, she was always kind of afraid. And I kind of think she made you a little bit afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so you're scared? She'd get up, she'd go and go sit, we slept upstairs, and she'd want to go sit in the steps every time and go thundering and lightning. Aww. And she'd want me to go with her. I was sleeping with her a lot of the time. Uh -huh. And I and I remember going sitting in the steps, and I don't know what time there was. It just darker in there, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I suppose she couldn't see the lightning. From that so. But I didn't realize that she was so scared until later. Oh. That's that's what it was. Was there anything that when you were growing up that your parents made you do that you just hated doing, you and your <laughs> sister? Like chores or anything? Well, like we done chores. We did good chores, but I don't know as I just hated them or not. <laughs> We'd gather half the other eggs and then carry in wood at night. Mm -hmm. Laying wood in the cook stove, you know, and heating stove both. And we'd carry wood in for on the porch at night. Uh -huh. and yeah, what did, when you were younger, what did you do, like in the evenings or during, you know, if you had any free time before, like radio or television or anything like that? Like, what did you do for entertainment? Oh, I guess we played dominoes or something like that, or around the table of an evening, you know. Uh-huh. Some kind of game. Cards or some kind of cards. Okay. Dominoes. So did you, um, did you, what kind of chores did you do when you were younger? You got, you grew up on a farm? Yeah. Right? So what kind of chores did you have to do growing up on the farm? Well, we carried in wood and cook wood, wood for the cook stove and for the heater stove. And we'd gather eggs. Eggs. Once in a while we'd milk. I'd have milk quite a bit, but I didn't till I was older. Okay. <laughs> um, did you go did you have any social events or any special occasions that you looked forward to when you were younger? Like anything in town? I don't know if there are any towns close by. Or church events or anything? 
Well, we would have, they would have, we'd be in uh, programs they'd have at the church, us kids would. We'd walk clear up there, it was a mile and three quarters. And uh, practice, you know, in the uh -huh. summertime. They always had a good big program at what they called Children's Day. Children's Day? At the church. And, and that was right in the hot weather, too. And we'd walk way up there and practice for it. <coughs> was it like singing or? Yeah. Singing, singing and a play or something. You know, a little program. Uh -huh. Well, that sounds neat. What about school? What do you remember about school when you were younger? Well, I remember the snow, and it'd get real deep, and, and it'd be, uh, we could even walk on it. It'd stay on so long, you know, and get a crust on top, mm -hmm. and we'd uh, walk on it. I always wondered what would happen with a bell wheel, but <laughs> and it was stout enough to hold it. Uh -huh. So you walked we, to school? Yeah, it was How far three away? fourths of a mile. And what kind of classes? Do you remember what kind of classes? They, what was it like? Was it small? Like just a few people? Or Yeah, it was just a country school. And they all walked. I'm, a lot of the time, I remember I just said three in my class. One boy and two, and another girl, a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes they'd be more and then they'd move away or something. Mm -hmm. well, that was pretty small. But so, you'd walk to school and then you'd walk home and I guess you'd have chores when you came home? And yeah. Mm -hmm. When you were um, a little bit older and you started dating, you know, dating scene boys, how, um, what was that like as a young adult growing up, living in a smaller town, and just, you know, a young adult? What was that like? Were you allowed to go on dates, or was... Well, I never did date my Tony, my husband, but, um... They moved in the neighborhood. I had, I think I was about, I was about through school, uh, the grade school, and, uh, and then, um, my husband had a sister at the age of my girl, my, my younger sister. Okay. I had this one sister younger than me. I was the last of the family, you know. Uh -huh. She was younger than I was, and she she went to they went to our school. Mm -hmm. her, her and her older brother and uh, Elton. But he, he, he died. He was 17. Mm -hmm. He had diphtheria, and he was awful sick for, for a long time, but he got, he, he died then. He wanted to go with my sister. Aww. And uh, she had promised him that she would before he died, but he died. From the afterwards of the diphtheria. Uh -huh. He'd been off up in Iowa and to a cousin of theirs, and, and uh, they think he must have got it because he come home and he had got sick right away. Mm -hmm. uh, Some place in Iowa. I mm -hmm. don't know where he picked it up, but we had to all take shots. Yeah. I remember Curly coming home and they quarantined them. Oh my gosh. And uh, so when he got home, he was quarantined in. <laughs>
but he'd come over to tell us all because we'd, we'd been to a party that night at uh, their home, at Curie's home. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I and my two sisters. And uh, so that he come over to tell us to, to go get our shawls. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we had everybody that was the party had to go get shawls. But I guess didn't nobody else say, take it that I know of. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm going to change the subject for a second. Do you remember who the first president was that you voted for when you were younger? Uh, I don't know who it was the first one I voted for. I didn't mm -hmm. vote for a long time. But I remember one president. Mm -hmm. I was going to school in my heart, and my older sister, I guess she was had a job there working for some people, and we went over. I went, walked over there to the where she was away working mm -hmm. one night. It was they used to take. And the presidents always took their office on my birthday, the 4th of March. Uh -huh. And it was my birthday, and so I walked over there and seen her that evening. And we listened to the radio, mm -hmm. and uh, at the inaugura inauguration of the president. Mm -hmm. And uh, while, I, while I was there, and I never will forget that, it was... What president was it? We figured it out one time, and I don't know what I can tell you okay. for sure. We looked it up once, and what year it had been, and, and what the president was, and... Uh, It was back in the 29, it been whoever was president then, I think. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sure we could look it up again and figure it out. But you think 1929, about, that was the time? That were not there. And um, when you got married, what was your husband's name? Elvin Robert Spencer. Okay. And do, what do you remember about your wedding ceremony and your wedding day? Well, his brother, that's a little older than him, went with us, and uh, my sister, my younger sister, and we went to. I went and to the parsonage where a preacher to the went to his house uh -huh. and was married. So you're married at the preacher's house? Yeah. Okay. And then we went to to uh, Curry's folks and and uh, she got supper for us all. Mm -hmm. But I was sick. Oh. I got sick. And uh, it was the measles I was taking. Oh. I don't know why I never had them sooner, but I was sick. And uh, the next morning I was broke out oh. with the measles. I took everything at the wrong time. <laughs> How old were you when that when you got married? When that happened? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. And uh, of course, the family had to all have it. <laughs> Even Harold, as old as he was, he had never had it. And uh, I don't know how come we didn't get all them things when we was kids. And then I got the mumps. Mm. When we, uh, Clifford was born, when Jimmy was born, my oldest one, mm -hmm. 
we nearly lost him, but because he was, I was t already taken it when he was born, and uh, of course with the whooping cough, they cough so much and they get to vomit and vomit it up for his food's bad, he's everything he'd take, and he got awful poor and little, but uh, he come out of it. We finally went to giving him the bottle. Mm -hmm. How many kids did you have? Five. Five. And can you go just go ahead, like briefly, just what their names were and maybe the order, like who yeah. was born first? Well, that was Jimmy. He was Jimmy the first. And then Dale, and then Clifford, mm -hmm. and then Ann, and and uh, Wayne. Mm -hmm. And how old were you when you had Jimmy? I did a top 21, I guess. He was a year. And what was that? Was um, what was parenting like then, when you were raising your kids? Well, I don't. Well, we lived, we still lived out in the country, and uh -huh. we happened to be at where Cooley's folks was, right? we lived there with them uh, quite a while, and, and uh, they, they lived right close to the doctor, it was just uh, two miles, mm -hmm. and we, uh, Jimmy fell out the upstairs window one time, mm -hmm. and we rushed him down there to the doctor. But he, it just more or less knocked him out, I guess, and he went to come to the time we got down there. Mm -hmm. He seemed to be all right, but he uh, the ground was soft and muddy, you know. Mm -hmm. And he happened to not hit a rock. There's rocks around there, but he did. His head didn't hit a rock. It just hit down in the dirt. You could see the where the mud, oh where gosh. his head went down in the dirt. It didn't hit the rocks. And way I was uh, giving Dale a bath, and uh, I saw just the streak and then I looked, I was stepping out the window and uh, saw it was Jimmy. He got upstairs, I don't know. He just went up there himself. <laughs> so when you were raising your kids, um, was that, did you work at all? In between there, or was did you mainly just raise the kids? Just raise the kids. Just raise the kids. Yeah, I love them, so that's a pretty good job. <laughs> um, did you ever, in your adult life, ever live outside of the U.S., or did you always live no, in Kansas? No, I never. Always in Kansas. Well, we didn't always live in Kansas. We yeah. they built a trailer house and. We moved in it when uh, Dale was about eight or nine months old, I think. Uh -huh. And uh, and then we traveled around about seven years on jobs, different places. When uh, he, my husband worked on the roads, he drove a cat. Or, motor grader or something of the sort like that mm -hmm. on building roads. And we lived in in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And we did live in Nebraska once and then we lived in Colorado one summer. Um, did your parents or grandparents ever, were they all from the U.S. or did they come from somewhere else? My mother was born in Canada. In Canada? 
and uh, all they lived, they lived in uh, in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And the oldest kids, the oldest brothers and sisters, were born in the, in uh, Nebraska, and then. Uh, Some of them was born in Oklahoma. They lived down there with Kingfisher, mm -hmm. Oklahoma. And many, the one that's just older than me, why she was born in, in uh, Oklahoma. But I and Noah was the only one born in Kansas. Oh. Okay. I and my younger sister. Um, you see, there was nine in my family, brothers and sisters, so and count me, uh, nine of us. family. And only two of you guys were born in Kansas? Yeah. Mm. So they lived there. I guess Dad was born in, in Missouri, and Mother was born in Canada. Okay. And how many um, grandkids do you have? and great-grandkids? Well, I had, uh, had 12 grandchildren, mm -hmm. and then Jackie got killed in a car wreck, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dale's little girl, uh -huh. and she's the only one that's gone. Yeah, um, And they got thirteen great greats now. Oh my gosh. Um, do you keep in touch with all of your kids and grandkids? Yeah, I do some. You do? I keep where they're at. Some of them I don't see for a while. Um, what, do you have any other interests outside of spending time with family? Like, do you, I know you go to church with Anne, and do you like doing anything else? Or maybe you can, like, tell me more about your, like, your hobbies. Well, I made lots of quilts. Lots of quilts. <laughs> and how long have you done quilting? Even, is it, have you always had that hobby, or? I guess we went into... I remember when we as kids, girls at home, that we worked, made quilt blocks. Mm -hmm. I remember. Some of them I didn't put together till after I was married. And, uh, where did them? I did quilt one when we lived in the trailer house, I remember. It's the only one I remember. When we moved around all the time, I think it was about seven years we lived there. When we, Jimmy got old enough to go to school while we come back to Kansas that summer. We was in Colorado, Colorado Springs, and uh, we come back just before, he, before school started then put him in school at home, mm -hmm. and he started to school. Okay. Um, have you ever played a musical instrument? No. No? Okay. No. And what do you think is your strongest asset, like your strongest character? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't know what to say about that. Like, would you say that you're easy to get along with? Or maybe you're, um, I don't know, you have, like, an interesting talent that you have? Maybe something you're known for? Like a, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe, um, 
Oh, um, do you remember when you were growing up at all, any time, what was the best gift you've ever received from somebody? Oh. oh. Heaven, Jesus Christ is my Savior. Aww. God say that. That's a good answer. <laughs> good. Um, what would you say that the most extravagant thing you've ever done in your life? I know we done one thing. They had a we had a pasture there. We'd go get the cows a lot of times for an evening, you know, milk mm -hmm. them. Well, I guess Dad, I never did know for sure whether Dad and them built it, but I imagine they did. Had a, there's a, a well down there, and they had a pump, a motor pump, to pump water up in that tank. Uh -huh. Well, it wasn't a tank like you'd think out of metal. It was cement. Uh -huh. They'd build it, you know, a square. It was a big square tank. And I never will forget that. I went, my older brother Elmer went down there to start the pump and pump water in that tank. They kept it, had to keep water in it for the cows and horses that was in the pasture. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, and I were and I went down there with him mm -hmm. when he went to start it, and it was about I'd say about eight inches, six or eight inches wide, mm -hmm. the, the edge of it, you know. Okay. And we got to walking around that. <laughs> no one, no one was ahead of me, and I was behind her. And she fell in, and boy, <laughs> over come her running, and I fell on top of her. <laughs> I never will forget that. But at the time, I was wondering why he picked her up first. <laughs> so but I was up to <laughs> I just didn't realize, you know. Yeah. At the first. That you'd fallen on top of her? <laughs> But uh, he would naturally get her up first because Aww. she was on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, let's, let me think. What is the most proud thing that you've done? The thing that makes you the proudest of yourself? Oh! I would know. I wouldn't know what to say to that. Hmm. Well, if you think of it, we'll come back to it. If you think of something. Um, who do you think has most influenced your life? I don't know. I was just 16 when Mother died, so I felt like I... And we never was around our grandparents. Mm hmm and I always felt like that was something that we missed out on. Right. Growing up. Mm -hmm. I did see Grandpa and uh, her four brothers, uh, five brothers, and I saw her sister, uh, sister several times, but uh, once it, one of her sisters I never did see, but, but, uh, they come up when Mother died, Grandpa and the, and the five boys. Mm -hmm. Her mother wasn't able to come, so she didn't come. Her mother was still alive then. That was in 1930 when Mother died, you see. Uh -huh. I was 16 when Mother died. And uh, they all come up then, and I saw them. And I had been, I just saw them boys later when I was down there, but, but, uh, we never was around them like a neighbor where we could go stay a few days or anything like that. Right. 
and uh, so I we always felt like I missed that out on being around my grandparents <laughs> all the time, you know, like a lot of the kids are nowadays. Yeah. They're their grandparents a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, like Jeff and Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> and I get to see you a lot. Yeah. Um, well, have you, do you have anything that you, you know, you wish you had done or something you'd still like to do that you didn't get to do when you were younger? big trip or someone you want to visit or some place you want to go? There's only one thing I can think of. But a few years ago, I, I said something to Curly about it that I never, I don't know, I just had a hug. It would have been nice to ride a bicycle. Aww. And I never did. You never rode a bike when you were No. Here? And uh, well, she, he said, we always had the bikes around to the kids, mm -hmm. for my kids. And I said, well, I had something else to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> I never did learn that. Aww. I never did learn about it. Yilma and Harold had bicycles, but uh, when they had them, I was too little. I couldn't reach pedals. Mm -hmm. You know, they never yes. had little bicycles then. There's all big bikes, you know. Yeah. They didn't make me little bicycles back, mm -hmm. you know. No training wheels or anything like no, that? No, they didn't have little bicycles. Mm -hmm. You know, it's surprising how many things is so different now than it was when yeah. I was a little kid. Yeah, because I had a little bike with training wheels. Yeah. So that's how <laughs> I got to learn. Um, what would you say, um, like, what would you... What advice would you give to kids growing up now? Anything you've learned? That, what would your best advice be to like young kids today? I'm going to be better off if they mind the parents. Yeah. <laughs> mind your parents. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, that seems pretty timeless. Mm -hmm. You know, mind your parents. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'm going to kind of change the interview up, and we're going to talk about your health. So how would, um, today, how would you describe your health? Would you say it's good or fair or do you have any complaints or anything? Well, I'm sure not like I used to be, really. In what in what ways do you do you mean? I think I had a heart attack the other morning. Mm -hmm. Last week I woke up uh, and I had a hurting in my chest and mm -hmm. and and I seemed to have gas. I used to have so much gas. And I went to belch and then I thought maybe that was it. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I waited a little over a half hour before I took my pill and I'm back. 
and uh, then I finally got a, the took it and I got to feel better. And it felt better. Mm. And got to feeling better right away. Or most days. And things, I don't take them enough, but I, I hadn't took one for a long time. But that doesn't happen every day. No. Is it just once in a while that you feel that way? Yeah. Well, that's the reason they wouldn't do surgery on me, so I'm kind of my heart. Uh-huh. And the doctor has it. Uh, the doctor I went to in Iowa, that was my heart. He thought it was, and I'd had one day, and... Uh, and yet Clifford and Patty went to him and talked to him about it after I come down here and they said they declared that he said I didn't think I have one but I don't know. Hmm. What kind of surgery do you need? What is, is there some kind of is it? Well, my bladder come down. For your bladder? So they wouldn't do any surgery on you because of the yeah, that. Mm -hmm. There's another way they try to fix it, but it didn't work with me. Mm -hmm. I went to three doctors, three different doctors, and they didn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. They couldn't do nothing. Then. Um, is there anything about I'm going to switch it to dental now. Do you have any problems with your dental health? I know you have full upper and lower dentures, or do you Yeah. Have, okay. Yeah, I've got all of them now. Okay. <laughs> and do you have any trouble with that? Are you happy with your dental health? Well, I guess it's, I've got a long, a long time with them. Mm -hmm. How long have you had them? I think it was in 63. 63? So that's a while. But I got the second set since then. Oh, okay. okay. And have you had any trouble since then? Or are you happy right now with your dentures? Is there anything you change? Oh, I don't know. I can't kind of think. I just, they come loose sometimes, of course, but I think you lose weight or anything like that, they, they make some come loose easy, you know. Yeah. And I've lost some weight since I got it. Mm -hmm. Last. Well, um, we're going to wrap up the interview, and it, we're going to end it on um, what is the happiest moment that you can remember in your life, like a happy experience that you remember? It can well, be when you were younger, or when you were an adult, or, you know, as you got older. Oh, you know, I'd say it was my golden wedding anniversary. <laughs> your golden wedding anniversary. I really got a surprise. I... What happened? Now, now we're my youngest sister. She lives in Seattle. Uh huh. And I just had it all figured out that she would come. Mm hmm. And then she wrote me and told me about making a new dress, uh, buying her a new dress. Mm hmm. And I had it all figured out. She's going to come. Yeah. And uh, and that's what she got the dress for. Right. <laughs> And uh, they, she never did tell me anything that she was going to. And then uh, my other sister lived in California, Ida. Well, that was before she died. And uh, her son and his wife come uh -huh. and brought her. She wouldn't have been able to come by herself or uh -huh. anything. I didn't look for her. But they brought her. And come. Good. And boy, I was surprised <laughs> to see her. Because uh -huh. I just didn't think she'd never make it. Mm -hmm. But she enjoyed it, I think. And where was that at? Was that in Kansas? 
But I was really surprised. Hmm. Pretty was too. He knew she wasn't. She didn't. not hadn't been a bit well. Mm -hmm. And uh, she always had heart trouble. Right. And uh, and then he he got he was so excited he picked her up and just rode her off mm -hmm. with her. That was your happiest moment. That was your golden wedding anniversary. Yeah, I sure was surprised to see her. Of course, we all got together the next day and down at my, down by La Harp with my sister. Okay. Well, I think, I think that's it. Okay. Thank you.